So Top Gun Maverick is the long-awaited sequel to the original Top Gun, which I surprisingly never saw. I'm a big fan of movies in the 80s. I'm a big fan of Tom Cruise, but I never saw the original Top Gun. So yeah, well, so yeah, it's been a long time since I since I watched it. Now, for movies that take like 30, 30 or more years to make, get a sequel out, like Blade Runner twenty forty nine, you have to take into account that. I mean, Blade Runner, Blade Runner twenty forty nine was an art house film, basically. So you so. It was made for a niche audience. This is made for a much larger audience, so obviously it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot more uh, it's gonna be a lot less nuanced and a lot more a lot more self centered. I want I don't want to say self centered, but it doesn't require you to have much knowledge if any but, of the original film. I mean, it's it's fun, you know. Just like I mean, if you like the original, you'll definitely <laughs> like like this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, it starts off, play, they play Danger Zone. I'm, I'm surprised, they, I was expecting like a remix to the original Danger Zone, like, a, like, a, like an upbeat, like no, techno they remix. Do that. <laughs> I mean, Tom, Tom, Cruise was, Tom Cruise produced it. Of course, I don't think anything yeah, would have got... Could keep up with the time, yeah. I thought they were like, like a techno remix. Up. So anyway, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, if, if you, if you, like, so, um, much like in the original, you get, you, you, I th you have like, have like a mission of importance and they send the best pilot fighter pilots in into into you this know the training, danger zone. this training program called the danger zone which um is these 12 fighter pilots tom cruise has to mentor them and tell and teach them how to do this these impossible maneuvers to get bypass this trench that's full of it's basically just the death star but i but set on an unspecified middle eastern or, or country with 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 snow middle east like made, made up east stand <laughs> but anyway yeah, that's so anyway but it's i think i think what well what holds it together is the fact that it's you know it, it's it's two and a half hours long but you don't you don't feel the runtime i guess yeah. until like maybe like the maybe like the very end yeah, and the movie also has a lot of good comedy. Surprisingly nuanced for a movie like this. I thought that, like, when I heard there was going to be some comedy in this, I thought it was just, it was just going to be, like, Tom Cruise making fun of how, uh, like, all, all the old, the new, the new recruits making fun of how old Tom Cruise was. Like, oh, he, he, uh, that's our teacher. And they do that at first. Like, they, they introduce Tom Cruise in the, in this bar to his new recruits, and they don't know who he is at first. So, mm -hmm. then, and they introduce him as this, like, as this, like, as this clueless idiot who doesn't know what's going on, and 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 Jennifer Connelly is the bartender. I don't know. I don't know who she's supposed to because I never saw the original film. Well, she she wasn't in the original oh, movie, but it's implied. I know that she wasn't, but what did she play? She ends up. She in, Wait, no, she wasn't in the original. movie. I know. But what character is she playing that was referenced in the original movie? There, there is no reference. I think. Fair? I think they just kind of. Re they just kind of implied that she and Maverick were a thing. Yeah, and what's funny is there's this funny um yeah like I said later on there's a scene where af after the bar scene where they're all having fun and Maverick is uh Maverick is the main character played by Tom Cruise, it's his middle name. And, then, and after he gets to the bar in the next scene you see all the recruits are looking at him like oh that's that's the guy we were making fun of yesterday and he's gonna be our captain. But yeah, and and what and I think one of the best parts is it's I I think I think I think the one thing that it. I think the one thing that it does, it's like it's it it has the sort of idea where the military, where the higher ranking military definitely tells the kind of like tells them like that this is for real, and yeah, and but it it has they have time to be, I mean they have time to goof off like that you know there's there is a moment where they do play on the beach just like in the original yeah, playing tom with cruise, the boys or tom cruise is, is uh watch them have fun but for me what i like the most of this movie very much like i want to compare it to uh, i i wasn't thinking of a, of, of a philosophical movie when i saw so i was thinking it was just gonna be a, like it's a dumb generic action film but one thing that makes it interesting was very much like skyfall the movie that is the james but well, my favorite james bond movie which came out back in 2012 it has to do with old versus new you have the old people the trying to teach the new people how how to do things their way and you have to wonder is that which way is better and you realize no no way is necessarily better it's just 
who is best for the position and what makes it work. Because yeah. at the very end of the film, there's a scene where they go on this, onto made up, onto this, this, they, uh, this, uh, this was a mission actually yeah, happens. Yeah, Tom Cruise gets, um, has to jet out of his plane before he gets hit by a missile. Then he lands on the snowy, on the snowy plane. He gets, he's about to be attacked, shot down by a chopper gunner. Then this, his friend shoots the chopper gunner just before it shoots him. And he, ha his friend has to eject and save him. And then they go, go on to this, dr this plane runway that's in the country, in the, in this unspecified, country's uh, plane, uh, military plane driveway and hijack an airplane that's like 20, 30 years old and only Tom Cruise knows how to, how to pilot it because he, he's been piloting planes for over four decades. So, and at the end, they have to take out four of these super high-tech jets where there's like 30-year-old clunker and they do a really good job at it. So it goes to show that, like you said, it's not, it's not necessarily the technology, it's the people who are, who are who are driving it the will to survive, they, yeah, they make it work. Definitely. So, and just, like, and, just like Skyfall. And this subplot for that, and yeah, speaking of which, there's a couple of subplots, but... Um, my favorite, oh yeah, my favorite was the one where Tom Cruise is is in Jennifer Connelly are acting like horny teenagers. Only like there's this one scene where where the, the Jennifer Connelly's daughter who's in high school is coming back because her friend she was going to a sleepover with a friend, but her friend was busy or had to, was sick or something. So she's coming back like, oh my god, my daughter's home. Normally it's the teenagers who are afraid of getting caught by their parents of having sex, but now it's the, it's the adults are afraid of being caught by their their daughter their teenagers of having sex, and that was I, I, I found to be funny. Yeah, oh, there there's the there's the love story which yeah. takes which uh, which you know like it it's kind of, it's kind of like in kind of like in kind of like in there for yeah obvious purposes but there's an import there's an important one with uh with with Miles Teller's character who is Goose's son yeah ice I thought it was gonna be ice no ice ice, ice is no ice is another character oh, ice yeah. is another character in Tally but. But uh, Miles Teller plays Rooster, who is the son of Goose from the original movie. So, Goose, so, so bec there was a mission where Goose died um, before before the events of this movie, and God, I thought I thought he was the guy who couldn't speak. No, no, no. Let's. So, all right. This. So Ice is actually no. Ice is is just a completely different character. Oh, um, is he the guy who couldn't speak? It's yeah, Val Kilmer. Oh, yeah, Val Kilmer. I mean, if you know if you know the story of Val, the recent history of Val Kilmer, you understand why he why 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 they kind of wrote wrote him in kind of like as as this sort of mentor character, and uh, it's it's a really touching scene between the two. It's yeah. if you like the dynamic between Iceman and Maverick, I I think this comes this comes full circle this comes full circle because. Because Ice knows Maverick is a, one hell of a pilot, and just having to get them, having to, and he's the reason why Maverick is still in, still in the Navy, despite yeah. all, despite a lot of stuff, despite mm -hmm. like him being this, still being a hot shot at yeah. like, and then, God knows how, he, how old Tom Cruise is. He's like pushing seventy now. But the the thing that makes it like interesting is in the very beginning of the movie. Uh, or like the, after the first intro scene, after the first ten minutes, where Tom Cruise um, illegally takes an airplane off the off, uh, off the courtyard to prove that he can make, go, make it go up to, to Mach ten, and Ed Harris catches him after when he's in the air. When he go, when he gets down, Ed Harris is like, "You've been doing this for forty years. You should be you should be a senator by now. Why do you keep staying as captain?" And it, and it makes you wonder why hasn't Tom Cruise accepted any promotions and gone up to senator? He could be a senator by now. But then if he did, did that, we wouldn't have a movie. So yeah, they have to, they have to, we wouldn't yeah. have we wouldn't have yeah. we wouldn't have a pilot who could. We wouldn't have a pilot who could man this mission. Who could man this mission? Yeah. And, so and you know, I mean, point taken. Point taken. He he. I think one of the best parts is when I, he, like when they they kind of they ground him. Yeah. But, but he just takes a takes the plane and shows shows them sh and shows that shows. And he and he does those maneuvers the, that was that the one where he has, he has to do it in three minutes to get to the thing. Yeah. yeah. So what happens is that like half the movie is spent on them doing this training exercise where they have to maneuver on these mountains, which simulates 
similar mountains in this middle in this in made up east stand. I'm just gonna call it made up east stand. Again, like, and and, they, and they, what they have to do is they have to get go past all these mountains because just like the Death Star, there are, there are these trench laser beams on the very top of it, so they have, they can't go above. They have to go between the mountains. So in the trench, so and, and if the they, best, they go more than a hundred. Yeah, you saying? Yeah, and the best part is no, but no. Actually, no one can do it in the in the perfect time. Three minutes, except for Tom Cruise. Well, because he's because he's Jesus. And a lot of and a lot of this and a lot of this is because mm -hmm. like so, and much like Ma much like Maverick was before, like he they they too are hot shots. Yeah. And yeah. and they can't and so and a lot of them can't can't do it at the right time or do it too fast and they let their and they let and they let yeah. their partners off, but. You know, and obviously, because for the motivation, Tom Cruise, like Maverick, just do, Maverick yeah. just does it, and, he, and with like with the cliche of having one exactly one second left on the clock, and it's, he, he does this these impossible maneuvers around these mountain areas, and he goes he does a simulation test where he goes past these mountains and manages to, to shoot open the hatch of a which simulates the hatch they're going to shoot open later on in the movie. So that he can show that they can shoot open, which later on they shoot open the hatch, which is holding all these nuclear, this nucle, this uranium refinement plant. Which I don't understand it's, why it, they, it has well, a bomb in it. Yeah, not really a bomb. It's a uranium refinement plant that they're using to make bombs. I'm like, why do you? Why are you only sending six guys to do this? Why, why isn't that NATO's job? I mean, yeah, well, the, the plot's really stupid, but, but it, that, it does. It does. It's not really the plot that makes you care. It's the characters and the motivations that make you want to watch the movie. Well, so, well, I, it's, honestly, it's, I, I, I think, I think a lot of. I, I don't know. I I think a lot of I think a lot of um uh, mish, of missions that have to do with stealth stealth piloting yeah. usually takes like less than like less less than like ten less than like a smaller amount of yeah. of 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 units just just to get through because 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 again like they're going into like a high a highly armed high, they're place where it's highly armed made up he stand mm -hmm. well anyway um Ma anyway Mav anyway maverick ends up be becoming the leader of the of this team well and him and his friend the son of val kilmer the well, no 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 it's not the son of val kilmer it's it's, it's the no 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 goose is Goosman. a different character. oh no it's, it's rooster yeah they call him rooster, call him rooster yeah and so i think that in from an action perspective and from a character perspective this movie's really good but the whole thing about Sending in four guys to, to take out a nuclear, an, a uranium refinement plant that can be used to create nuclear weapons. Like I said, that 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 sounds more like NATO's job. It's but, a, it's, but it's, 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 it's so it's an action movie. I know it's an action. So movie. I think one of the best. I think I think the reason why it. I, I, I think what you were saying. Here's here's the thing. I. I, I personally thought that it was it, it here's the thing. I yeah. it's a it's a Tom Cruise movie. And, and of course, of course he's gonna be running and everyone's like, Oh my god, Tom he's the Tom Cruise run. And there's like, there's a like, lot of and and there's a lot of like, there there's a lot and Tom Cruise is probably the last few action heroes who can get away with this because yeah. one one, he's not he's 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 not in front of like a green screen. Yeah. If we're if we're gonna be honest, like he has those Mission, stunts, I, mean, Mission I mean Mission I mean Mission Impossible movies don't ba barely have any green screen. Yeah. Top and and this and this one definitely has like that that natural flavor that kind of that kind of helps elevate him toward elevate him elevate this movie like like a thousand more than like the recent movies we've gotten. In my opinion. The one thing I would have done to make it to to uh, make it more more like less cartoony in my in a sense like you're like I said have it so that instead of having to blow up like, just instead of just having to blow up the uranium refinement plant the nuclear reactor have it so that they have they have to like rescue maybe rescue a kidnapped person and make it so that's covert ops no so that the world doesn't know about it because if the, if the world finds out about it it's gonna cause it's gonna cause a world war I, I think it would have been better if it was like a rescue mission instead of like a blow up mission so instead, instead of just copying Star Wars and maybe, maybe like a, make a like a rescue mission I, I, I mean I, I just think I just think it would have been more human if it, if they had to if the story was about rescuing someone as opposed to just blowing something up like, like well, it, in Star Wars. It does become a rescue mission. Later, I mean, yeah, at the very end, it becomes, I mean, Tom Cruise has to eject and, they, and then they have to get, get into the helicopter. Anyway, that was, that was the best part, of my opinion, when they, when they have to rescue Tom Cruise and, he, and then he shows them that it's not just, it's not the high-tech machinery that makes you good. It's the, it's the will to survive yeah, and, the best, and, pilot, and be the best pilot you can be that makes you a good pilot. And so. the, yeah, and I, 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 and the best part is, you know, Miles Teller is acting 
uh, uh, acting along across Tom Cruise and you know I think I think the best and you know here's the thing Miles Teller is an actor who I think you need to motivate into getting this pretty much pretty much like like the pilots have to be motivated by Maverick yeah. and you know if you've seen Whiplash this this Whiplash, is that was the one with uh, J.K. Simmons J.K. Simmons yeah of course but, but the, the bald guy yeah and and the thing about that is you uh, it's it, it it's one of those mo movies where it, where you have this veteran actor who can veteran actor and you act him alongside someone and if you know you got a younger actor and a veteran actor and they are both and they're both at at like I wouldn't I wouldn't say high caliber because there isn't really too, there isn't really a lot of tension between between Maverick and Rooster but it but you know they but I think what what they're given you know they act they they act the hell out of it yeah and there's of course there's a cliche scene where like or the or the or the guy played by not not the black guy the other guy the the commanding officer of Tom Cruise John Ham John Ham yeah he's like He's like, that's Miracle One. That's Miracle Two. And like, we've lost our car. He, he, he's like spouting out all the exposition. They're like, it's it's kind. Of, it, I mean, you understand. I mean, you can understand it's that a, it's a it's, it's, a, it's cinema, He's explaining know, it's, the. He's explaining the mission. I know he's explaining the mission, but everyone in the he's everyone in the control room knows what they're doing. He doesn't have to announce to everyone. It's not like he's announcing. It's not like he's explaining to 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 a, to a school and to a classroom for well, students. It's just, here's it, the thing. It's it, it's military. You kind of yeah. have to. You kind of have to. Everything needs to be recorded. It's debriefing. I know. But there's just there's just one scene I remember where he where he just said this stupid line that I don't remember exactly what it was, but it sounded really stupid. To is me. it the one where is it the one where he's like where he where he's like you know what I, I'm gonna have you as team leader or something? No, it was, it was the one later on when they're about to when they're about to invade the the fortress or the runway with in the in made up stand with all the in the trenches or they're going through the trenches i remember saying this one really funny line which is funny for all the wrong reasons where he's talking about how all the characters are doing are doing these things and he's like i don't know what it was but it was just one thing that was really funny well uh well any well anyway i i feel like there's i i i think i i think the point about this is that there's this this was a movie meant to see be seen in theaters. Yeah, you you have to we you have to look you have to look at this, look at this because they are they are making this, and yeah look they had and and Tom Cruise said it before the movie. There's like, they they had like a lot of they had like a a team of like pilots and, you know, you know officers to make sure that this this was. As realistic as an as an action movie yeah. can get. They even got the um, what's thing called? Um, oh yeah, they they said they they got real planes. Yeah, real real planes, Plane. real pilots, real yeah, and and I and and I think that that's what made ev made every shot of that like, you know when when like the those the, the weird training montages, yeah. it's. It, it made it made it all all worth it because they were do they were doing it all they were doing it all they like everything was go you see this like the mission is basically you have to go up you go have to go up go sink down fire yeah go this way and 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 I, and everything was I think and with everything like I think they were actually. I feel like they were actually in the cockpits. Yeah, the way the way the characters were blacking out when there was too much, when there was like a lack of oxygen or like too much pressure on their body, um, that was that was uh, well done. But my my favorite scenes are the ones where they they reference like I I've ever seen honest trailers where they were Top Gun, the, the honest trailer Screen Junkies. Yes, I know. There's one funny scene in Screen Junkies when they were talking about the original Top Gun. Where like watch as they make this five foot seven actor seem seem taller by always by always shooting him above his waist and having the people who are next to him look, walk like this but you couldn't tell that like, like there's this one scene where he's at the very end where he's in a bar and there's this guy who's like up to his up to his neck and he's this bald guy for who he was and they're like and then uh, <laughs> they, they did that yeah who's that guy again uh i forgot uh, 
Yeah. But, but he, so I I, I, I I thought it was funny the way they they were like. There's always these scenes where you see Tom Cruise shot above the waist, where his friends are like up to up to are like where they're all the same height because Tom Cruise has like has like a Napoleon complex because he's only five seven. So oh. I, I thought that was funny the way they, the way they always shoot, shoot from above the waist to make him look like he's taller than he actually is. That was funny. <laughs> well, um. Uh yeah, I guess, I, I guess with all I mean, with all that I mean it's been like thirty six years since the first Top Gun came out, and Tom Cruise still can't get over the fact that he's only five foot seven. Like, get over it, Tom. It's not it's not it's not the world doesn't know how tall you are. Look, a, sim he, a simple Google search will tell them more how tall you are. It's not like back in nineteen eighty six no. when there was no internet. No one could look up your heights. No, well, listen, listen. Uh, everything is okay. Oh, uh, well, in the well, like as a as uh. You know, as an actor yeah. and the film producer, I I feel like he can he yeah. he at least in those fields he can do no wrong by my book. I so. just, like I, said, I just don't think there was a reason to do it anymore because it's like I said it's not nineteen eighty six. We have this thing called the internet. You can, just, you can look up anyone's height and weight in like five seconds. Uh, I just don't see the reason for it. Well, uh, I mean that. I mean, it's nothing. I mean, he's he he he's still pumping out action movies like yeah. it's like it's nobody's business and. At and, least and they're better than ever. Than at least they're better than like what than what's being what's being yeah. poured out today. Come to action movies and always hire the shortest people you can find to fight. Look, as much as I look, as much as I love, yeah. as much as I love of a lot of like recent action movies, no, no, I feel like this kind of like it stands will stand out will stand out above the rest. Not only because it's a a legacy movie to to like a movie. Like in reference to like another eighties. I never saw original. the original one, so I've got no no bias here. I wouldn't. I can't really tell if the whole thing. But it, it, there's. I mean, I'm sure there were references, but the references don't hijack the film. It's like you have to watch the first one, like Blade Runner twenty forty nine. We pretty much have to watch the first to understand it. But it, yeah, and and with with that, it's with that, it's all the all the better for it because there was because because the, that that effort really shows. Yeah. Any final thoughts? I think I think that's all I got to say. Yeah, looking for the next Mission Impossible movie. Mm-hmm.